I am somewhat. If you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Why? What's what's to say these guys aren't the Institute, right? I can patch you up if you need it, for a small fee, of course. Hear anything, Doc? Been out of the loop. Lots of sick and injured taking up my time. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. Now go over your sim. Uh, nah. Actually. Say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. <clears throat> Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing, I predict the future. Wow. What? That's amazing. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Even if you're wrong sometimes, that's unbelievable. Repeat. Caution. Reliance on this unit's predictions is deemed unlikely. I want to know things. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query. What is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111, Cryo Vault, believed destroyed, conversation terminated, pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing, goodbye. Oh. Alrighty then. Pam Mainframe Terminal. Access records. Uh, restricted. I'm sorry, have a nice day. Latest prediction models. Oh, okay. I guess we can only use Pam if we, uh, you know, work for the railroad or whatever. Just a railroad agent. Railroad HQ escape tunnel. Hope no one minds if I, uh... That sure doesn't look like it came in with us. Shut up, dude. Valentine's such a bitch. They totally, like, murder all these people, though, you know? <clears throat> this must be, like, some kind of training yard. Okay, it wants me to leave this way. I'm curious about what's out the other way, but I suppose we'll go this way. Just kidding. Oh, yes we can. Just gotta get really close to the door for some reason. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same Don't page. try anything, you stranger. Know what's in this fight. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property as tools that sounds like slavery exactly so we seek to free the synths from their bondage give them a team like that a real life i have a question the only question that matters would you risk your life <coughs> to your 
even if that man is a simp? See, <clears throat> maybe I would be like, realistically, without telling her, I would be like, no. I probably wouldn't risk my life for a synth, but in this situation, Valentine is my Once friend. I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Some of <clears throat> your skills, your beliefs. Normally Valentine loved that. You, but right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other Valentine's <clears throat> <clears throat> in turn, we can help you. See the mm -hmm. Hey. Got a sack. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. It must be based on love. As long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. But I'm not a person at all. This is a weird place to I'm say a that. Machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's death. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City <coughs> and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. A new name? We could give you a new name. Would that help? Ah, I got it. Oh, that was rude. Well, you know, I, I'm just going to need some thanks. I didn't mean to say something so rude. Crumblebot's kind of rude. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Yeah. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the arc. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. I remember him? Eddie Winter was from my time real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death. Live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? So he's probably alive. He didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. <clears throat> You've really done your homework on this guy. I have. And I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Yeah. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. 
We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winter's that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay then. He just laid down like a huge quest on us. What? <laughs> what was that? What was that image? Hey. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Oh! We kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Okay. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. Oh. I like that uh, Valentine like chimed in. That was neat. So is this a new quest or... No, this is Tradecraft. Okay. Why is there a beaker there if it uh, doesn't do anything? Why is this place full of ghouls too? Was I not supposed to kill them? Now this door is wide open. Someone could have followed me easily. They got like five coursers on their way down here? Bam. They just cleaned out all their issues. You know? You feel me? That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo. Construction model of Protectron was built to take damage. Some versions also come equipped with an internal nail gun, which they can utilize in combat. Neat. Flamer's special engineered flamethrower suit for extensive combat engagements delivers sustained energy damage and can completely immolate a target. Neat. Ah, the surgical journal. Let's play doctor. Need a real challenge? Try survival difficulty. Health restoration will be severely reduced. Oh, 